Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Bazara Imam Ali Barry, who is Director, Strategy and Business Department for the Nile Center for Technology and Research, the NCTR. Mr. Ali Barry, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Always a pleasure to be here, Max. Thank you. Good to see you again. Now, I wanted to talk, talk about smart digital developments, the theme for uh, this year's ITU Telecom World. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, Max, uh, we always need to go to go to the basics when we talk about such high-level concepts. And if we go to the basic principles behind digital development, uh, we can talk about uh, probably uh, three of them. For example, being open, supporting open standards and open source and open technologies. Also being collaborative and having smart partnerships and uh, engaging the customer and the user in all your products and services. Actually, uh, this is what uh, we do at NCTR and that's why we are spearheading uh, the ICT uh, industry in Sudan. And if we take uh, digital development to the next level, which is uh, digital transformation, we believe at NCTR that uh, simply digital transformation is about technology serving people all people. We're not talking about uh, people who live in big cities. We're not talking about people who come from uh, a certain social class. We're talking about all people. And this has always been our mandate at NCTR to create products and services with social impact. And that's uh, why we have been awarded by the ITU several times, including this year uh, in Durban. And tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what you've been awarded for here. Uh, we have been awarded uh, as uh, the most innovative exhibitor in Sudan Pavilion and also for our uh, partnership and uh, products with uh, social impact. Uh, and this is actually the second time in a row to be awarded this award here. Tell ITU. us a little bit about the, 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 the partnerships, the, the social impact that you're, you're having. Uh, for example, uh, in 2016, we won the ITU Telecom World Award for uh, our E15 product, uh, which uh, actually uh, was launched in Sudan in 2015 and this year actually we have been awarded uh, uh, for a range of products. One of them is uh, an MIS for microfinance in particular uh, which has uh, a large social impact in Sudan and it has been adop adopted by many uh, microfinance institutions in Sudan and uh, it has been so great so far. Excellent and in terms of uh, we're talking about innovation here what uh, single innovation, innovative technology, product, uh, service, uh, strategy or policy, uh, do you think is going to make the most difference? Uh, well, for me, Max, uh, I wouldn't say technology because uh, technology changes every day. And I wouldn't say products or services because they are a result of technological changes. But I would go for strategy, not because I'm in strategy, but uh, because, you know, it's, it's very simple. We need to have, if, if we want to digitally transform uh, communities and countries, uh, we need to have uh, clear goals and we need to have uh, strategies and tactics to you know, achieve these goals and we need to get into action and we need to monitor our uh, movement. And this is what we have to do always on an incremental and iterative basis and this is what the strategy is all about. What are the biggest challenges for digital transformation in Sudan? Uh, well, there are many, but uh, let me start by, you know, budgets, for example. Uh, it's, it's, it's always difficult, you know, to convince those who make decisions, budgetary uh, decisions, you know, to invest in, in ICT. And uh, especially when the economy is not doing very good, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Uh, so we always have to come up with, uh, you know, uh, disruptive and interesting business models, you know, to convince the customer. Uh, also, I can talk about legacy technology and when there is that emotional connection between the customer and the technology he has already invested in, it's very difficult to convince him you know, to change and uh, it's always a challenge. Uh, also, we get caught into the details of technologies and processes and we forget about the most important thing, which is uh, the user experience. Uh, and uh, for us, it, it's always uh, important to engage our users and customers right from the beginning and make them part of the whole journey. So you, the switch from analog to digital television, for example. Uh, yeah. In terms of technology, people have really got used to just exactly. being able to bring their, 
television images into their homes in one way and then suddenly being with a lot of countries are finding uh, yeah, right. finding a little bit um, right. more complicated than, good example than yeah. switching switching yeah. just from, from one to one to another uh, yeah. and uh, in terms of uh, winning the ITU telecom uh, world award how has that impacted uh, your uh, your particular image your uh, your profile etc yeah uh, you know, uh, prior to winning the award, uh, we had a very good position uh, in the local market in Sudan. But we knew that we needed a breakthrough, you know, something to uh, let us know how we are doing in terms of international and regional competition. We needed a testimony, you know, uh, for our products and services, and we got that testimony from the highest authority in ICT in the world, which is the ITU. And we are very glad and thankful uh, for that. Uh, uh, it has been great so far, and we would love to continue this journey with the ITU. And from your perspective, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Uh, well, I think this year, especially 2018, uh, is a very special year because uh, the ITU is hosted here uh, on African soil uh, for the first time. So we are very happy to be part of this experience, and uh, we would love someday to have uh, such an event in Sudan, you know. Uh, and uh, I think it's, it, it's, it's a great value uh, for us, uh, you know, considering the partnerships we have built here, the people we have uh, met, and, uh, you know, the deals we have uh, actually uh, finalized. And uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to see, you know, the whole world, you know, in one place and get to know uh, each other. And we would love to be part of this experience, you know, for as long as it takes. Well, we wish you the very best of luck in the future, and thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much, Max. That's great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.